Welcome back to Bear's Workshop. Uh, before we get into this failure of a video that I have for you today, I want to ask you to subscribe. Uh, this way you can see any of my future mistakes that I'm going to be doing, uh, which I'm sure there'll be more. So despite what happened with this car, uh, I'm going to be doing this again. Um, I've got two other cars uh, that are on the radar to get Plasti dipped. Uh, I want you, if you could, comment down below. Let me know what color you think these two cars should be. Uh, first one's a Mercedes E300, and the second one is an Infiniti Q56. Um, I, the Mercedes is my wife's car. She doesn't know I'm going to do this yet, so think, uh, think girly and classy. She likes gold and pink and things like that. So let me know what you think. Uh, for the Infinity, I uh, might go with a deep red, so I'm looking for something maybe along that lines. Uh, so just comment down below, let me know. In this video, I'm going to show you what my first attempt at doing an entire car turned out. Uh, to me, this is a fail. Uh, not because of the materials or the equipment, but because of me. Um, I'm going to give myself a 2 out of 10. Uh, I get one point for nobody died, and I get one other point because there was no runs. So I was pretty impressed with that because I was expecting to overspray a lot and have some runs, but I had none of those. So before I get into how I screwed up, let me say uh, everything I used was from dipyourcar.com and my order was correct. I got everything that they promised and it was packaged properly. I did get the uh, uh, DYC advanced dip sprayer system, uh, the more expensive one that was, I think it was like 395, got the ultra accessory bundle which has uh, different things that you need, including the respirator. Um, anything that went wrong, as we describe, as I describe it to you, is going to be the fault of yours truly. Uh, everything that Dip Your Car gave me worked perfectly. Um, the sprayer uh, was a lot better than any expectations that I had. It worked great. Um, so my next project, it will be ordered through them. So I don't want this to be a reflection on dipping or on the dip your car people. Uh, their stuff was great. It was, it was me. That being said, um, I did carefully prep the car. I sanded down some high spots. Um, I had some oxidation of paint. Uh, the clear coat was coming off. It was delaminating. So I sanded all that down. I washed it. I dried it. I waited 24 hours for additional drying. Uh, we taped everything up and this is where most of my mistakes came in. Uh, not all of them though. There's a couple, besides taping, there's some other issues. Um, I should have watched uh, more videos on Fonzie taping uh, and the best way to tape. Um, watched a couple, but not, not as much as I should. Uh, we still spent a real good amount of time uh, peeling back weather stripping and getting the tape in between the weather stripping and the panels that we were painting and trying to get all the spaces covered up. So I put down eight coats of black base coat and towards the fifth or sixth coat I started to see one area between the bumper and the quarter panel where there must have been some water coming out, some water that didn't dry. Um, I didn't touch it and decided whatever happened I'm just going to have to fix it later. Uh, it was very small when I first noticed it and I figured if I put my finger on it while well, this is wet I'm just going to start peeling stuff back and end up messing something up so I left it. Okay, so here we're going to just have some time lapse of me putting on these eight coats of bass and some real nice background music that you can jam to. And then in a minute or two, I'll be back with you to describe the rest of this experience.
After eight coats, I mixed the 50 grams of Martian Blue Pearls uh, for each gallon of top coat that I had. I used a matte top coat and I started spraying. Uh, the small spot with the water seemed to get worse. Uh, then another area on the rear bumper by some trim seemed to be having the same issue. It was pretty sad stuff, but I just had to keep going. So I finished spraying uh, with the intent of uh, fixing it later as I, I, I knew I was going to mess it up if I touched it. So my lesson on, on the water is that I needed to wait longer or maybe blow out the creases and in, in all the uh, lines of the car before spraying and then let it dry for 24 hours. Uh, so it should have dried, it didn't, but lesson learned. Um, so after now spraying the 11 coats and waiting 20 to 25 minutes between sprays, I was a bit on the exhausted side. Um, and I foolishly did not pull the tape uh, that was on my wet list, pull when wet. I know I ignored all the advice from all the videos and this is the lessons that you learned from that. I used a razor blade to trim back the areas where the dip had bridged over to the tape. Did a fairly good job of separating the tape from, from the panels, but fairly good is not all the way good. So there was a few areas that did not go so well. Uh, so lesson is obviously the sense of Fonz. Uh, pull when wet. There's a reason why he said it. He's probably done a million cars and he knows what he's talking about. I also should have checked all the tape. Uh, there were three of us taping and some of the tape crossed over onto the panels being sprayed. I didn't see it, um, I didn't check it, uh, but checking beforehand uh, probably would have helped and I probably could have corrected that so that when I was pulling tape, it wouldn't have been an issue. Um, so my next plan is to watch more videos on how to repair Plasti Dip. Uh, I'll probably start with a small section, see how it works. Uh, then maybe a video on it if, it, if I can fix it, um, or maybe there'll be a video of me just crying in the corner, sobbing, because I, I, I screwed up. Uh, so if you have anything you want to comment on, please do. Uh, I'm all ears. Um, it's genetic. Can't help it. So hit the like button, subscribe, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think on the, on the next. And here's some beautiful music to get you through the next couple of moments of me spraying the car. No, it's not purple. It is Martian blue, just the fluorescent lights.
So here are some pictures uh, from a distance and everything looks great from a distance and I was debating whether to even show these close-up pics or not. But from a distance it looks good. Uh, you know, the, the lighting makes it look a couple different colors even though it's all supposed to be one. It's not supposed to be the color changing. But here are the, the boo-boos. Uh, along the door jam, we have a little issue of it pulling up. That's the worst. That's right on the windshield. And right here, right on the door trim, uh, the tape was put too far. That's the uh, rear bumper where it started uh, coming down. Another one on the door jam. And the last one right there on the, on the rear bumper. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.